Mel from Carl's Crafts. Welcome back if you've been before and hi if this is your first time. We've got an unboxing for you. But first I've got my candle lit for anybody that needs prayers, thoughts and positivity. This is my sandalwood and sea salt. And then I've got a cup of tea which my darling daughter Jessie made because she's off ill today. But she was still kind enough to make me a cup of tea. Right, so this comes from Amazon. It's from a company called Elise, E-L-I-C-E. -E. They asked me to review it for them, and I wanted one anyway, so I said, yeah. Oh, my husband will recycle all that paper, so that's great. And the box will get recycled as well. Hang on. So here it is. Let's get into it. So it comes in a quite a sturdy box. Hang on, let's put that down there. And as you can see, it's got some diamond painting accessories. So, can you see what it is? It's an LED light display, but it is also it's rechargeable, so you don't have to have it wired in. From what I can gather, so we've got kit of these that came with it so all this came in the box together so you can put your diamonds in these if you oops if you want to so they've got like which way is it that way I can't get into them hang on guys Oh there, it is it. I haven't got any nails to, there you go, a bit stiff, but you can get in terms so of put diamonds in, open it, there. So you've got them, so you've got seven of them. That's 21, no, seven, no, 28 of those. And then you've got a pouch here with some goodies in. So this would be, if you hadn't got these sort of things, be great. So you could, uh, I love these trays. These are one of my favourites. I'm going to keep this one out because I haven't used my other one for ages. I love that tray. It's where you put your pen across there. You've got, um, so you've got three trays. So you've got the blue one, the standard green, and then the funnel one, which is great for pouring into, back into your things there. So, put that there, and then in here, you have everything, so you've got everything in this kit to start. So you've got, this is a straightener, so if you like to keep your rows all nice and neat and tidy, that will do that for you. See, that's really good. You've got some sticky notes that you can put on your containers. You just write the numbers or the symbol or however you do it onto your containers ready to go so you have that you have loads of wax you have some bags they are the other oh, one's quite thick actually they're not bad actually they're not the cheap cheap ones and they're not the expensive ones but they're all right to start with you got you have got the cheap cheap um tweezers and they have got a little bit of where the ends are folded over look so but I, I'll just no all right but they're all right to pick off and put on then you have all your different oh the air ambulance is going over sorry um you've got a three placer these are your pink pens you've got a single pacer there and if you don't know what you would do is you would take the cover off the top of your wax and then you would just go down into it onto a flat surface and it would stick in your pen the same with that end there you would go straight down on it and it would fill that there then we have what have we got here I think they're nine places two of those and they look like six places two of those so you've got all those to use. 
So you've got all that to start with. So we're just going to pop back into the bag all the loose bits. Ellie, hang on, the cat wants to go out now, guys. I do apologise. I'm moving the paper out the way. Go on then. That's Ellie barely wanting to go out. Right, so let's have a look at this um, light pad then. So I've got the wire. So you've got your C connection there and your USB connection there. It is well oh, padded on the corners. So you can put it away back in this box after you've used it. I'll just Shift that out the way. Right, should we have a look at it? Yeah, they reached out and said, would I do the A3? I did the A4 for them, and I love their A4. But this one, can you see what's different? It's got a built-in stand. So, let's see if we can work it out. You just pop it out of there, and then put it on whichever height you want. And you can work, see how it is. So whichever height you want. So if you wanted it at a lower height, you can have it down there. But we'll put it back in for now. So I like that feature on it. I've not seen that built-in one before. You've got a little thing that can hold your piece of paper. So if you want to do drawing or you've got a smaller diamond painting that just fits in, you can flick that down and it will hold it in place, look. See? Take a bit of pulling. So we've got your instructions on there. It's called a tracking whiteboard. There you go. You can copy cartoon, animation, um, and whatever you want, really, I think. Brightness, it has six levels, plus step, plus adjustment. It's 10 watt, so that's nice. And there's your instructions there. But as you know, most of us um, would want to... So it's easy, see? So it's got no wires in it at the moment. So it works without being plugged in, which is great. Or you can plug it in if you want to. don't want to run the battery down. It doesn't say how long. Oh, let me have a look. Oh, gosh, my back is aching today, guys. Let me have a look. It says it's an A3 light box from Elise, as I told you. Um, let me have a look. It has six levels of height adjustment, all at different angles, so it reduces any aches and pains, hopefully. Uh, I forgot what I was looking for now. Oh, I'm such an empty. No, it's gone. It's gone, guys. But this, this was... Um, it's priced up at the moment at £45.99p, but as I say, they very kindly sent me this to review, which I absolutely love. Um, as I say, I love this, the way it clicks into the back. Um, it's very sturdy. I mean, it's not going to sit flat on my table because my table is by no means flat. It's handmade made this table in our garage and yeah it's warped over the years and but it does so you know don't think it's this because it's not but yeah as I say they reached out they asked me um did I want to do the A4 again oh about six months ago and I said no I've done it once you don't want to do it again that's fine I said you know so this time they said have you gotten he contacted me and asked me if I had got an A3. I said, no, but I won't want an A3 just to see what it's like. So there is a protective cover over it by the look of it. Yeah, remove the protective cover from the front before use, which is great. So shall we have a look at what settings we got? So there we go. 
So let's have a look. That's a dimming. And that's that. And that's bright, as bright as it gets. So that if you press this side of it, it brightens it. If you press that side of it, it dims it. But that's okay, isn't it? I like that. And it's got, if you were doing a uh, drawing on it, it's got your, your measurements in centimetres. and So it's 38 and 1 and 29, just over 29 and a half centimetres that big. So it's a nice, nice size. Um, I'm trying to think, I've got a diamond painting on the go that you can see. Uh -huh. I'll just get this um, one I'm working at. I keep mine rolled up in a in a box in their box while I'm working on it. So we'll just have a look at it now. There you go. Can you see? So that's it with the light on. So that's going to be nice and easy to work with and it's a lovely size so it covers quite a big area and if I show you this was the A4 so I'll just put that on there so that's the A4 size so you can see the difference the A, this isn't an Elise one. The Elise one that I had off them Midi's got for her artwork. But this is another one that I'd bought. And I'm going to get another one of these because these are brilliant. These um, buttons. As you can see, this one isn't... You can't use it unless it's plugged in. So I need to get another one of those because they're idea. I did see somebody had a, a trick that they put... Um, what did they put over it? Oh, one of the waxes. But I don't know if that works or not. But yeah, so in it's a lovely size. Again, as I say, I love that addition to it. I love the back piece of it. There you are. You can do brightness on there as well. So you've got, I think it's one, two, three on there. So one, two, three. Yeah, different things on there. And each one you can alter the brightness on there so, so yeah so you can just ch fiddle and change with it however you want to which i think is nice i like that idea i like the fact that you can swap and change it so let's see if it's true to measurement even though it's got there i like to Yeah, spot on. Yeah. So that's nice. So I think this is going to be a good additional to the fact you've got a massive long cable with it. I'll show you now. I'll unwrap it. So you've got plenty of room to work on it. And if it's the battery's going, you can see that how long that is to plug it into your computer or wall or whatever so yeah so thank you ever so much for watching go over and check them out they're on amazon it's e-l-i-c-e -E, elise um they're a lovely co ha company to deal with i deal with alexander yeah so go and give them some support if you can i'm looking forward to using this one on my diamond painting and seeing what the difference of using a big one is to using the A4 one. So let me know down below. Have you got an A3 light pad? Tell me how you think about it down in the comments down below. Or you can contact me on my social media, which is also down below. And if you haven't subscribed, you might think about subscribing, pressing the subscribe button down below. By the side is a little bell, which will let you know when I go live, which is on a Sunday. And when I upload videos, which is a couple of times a week. With that said, all that's left for me to say is look after yourselves, take care, and most importantly, stay safe. Love you all. Bye.